just over a year ago, oh, touched the string by mistake there, just over a year ago, I picked up a guitar for the first time in my life. It's fair to say I wasn't exactly a natural. Dear. Why does that sound so bad? touching the string that I'm not meant to touch with my stupid finger. Get your fing fingers like a big sausage, you keep touching the wrong string. But that was a year ago, I am better now. I mean, I'm not as good as that guy, he's really good, I'm still pretty terrible, but I'm not as bad as I was a year ago, so I'm going to show you how much progress I've made and share a few things that I've picked up along the way which might help you out if you're just starting out on the guitar now. Or if you can play guitar, you can just laugh at how bad I am, you mean guitar playing savage. My first piece of advice is to learn songs that you actually want to play. When I was at school, we had music lessons once a week and they tried to teach us stuff like Mull of Kintyre, which to be fair, I'd probably be quite up for now, but when I was 12, I couldn't have been less interested. As a result, my greatest musical achievement from school was writing a kind of xenophobic World Cup rap song with a couple of mates, which included such lyrical genius as meat pie, sausage roll, come on England, score a goal. And um, lots of tacos and fajitas, the Mexicans are all dirty cheaters. Not fantastic. Um, so yeah, I had a music lesson once a week for how long do you have to do music for? Two or three years probably before you could drop it. Um, and I came out of that completely unable to play any instrument, which obviously is my fault, but I think I'd have been more likely to be kind of interested and motivated if I'd had the opportunity to learn some songs that I actually recognised for a start and ideally even liked. So yeah, if you're learning guitar on your own terms, then pick some songs that you actually want to play and learn them. It's so much more motivating. I absolutely love Oasis. So the first time I was able to play Wonderwall and it sounded vaguely like how Wonderwall should sound, it was brilliant. And I know that Wonderwall is a joke among guitar players and obviously it is a very easy song to play, but that was the first time I was playing a song that sounded like how it should actually sound and not just a really simplified version. Anyway, here's Wonderwall. Now, you might hate Oasis, you might have no desire to play Wonderwall, but just pick a fairly easy song that you actually really love and learn that. It's so much more motivating than just learning whatever you're being told to learn in school or as part of some course, you know, songs that you don't even recognise. Something that's really important to remember is that learning to play guitar isn't a race. So I'm fully aware that the amount of progress that I've made in a year is not going to set any world records. You know, there are probably people who've been playing for a month or two months who are much better than I am, and most people who've been playing for a year are way ahead of my current standard. But that really doesn't matter. A little while ago, I found myself Googling how long it should take you to get through the Justin Guitar beginner course, and feeling a bit crap that, you know, I'm still basically doing it a year down the line, whereas most people get through that fairly quickly. But even if I had finished that course quicker than anybody else ever had, like what prize would I get for that? None at all. Uh, Theodore Roosevelt said that comparison is the thief of joy. And I think that completely applies here because if there was nobody else on earth 
then I'd be really happy that a year ago I couldn't play the guitar at all and now I can play a little bit. Not fantastic, but I can play a bit. I'd be chuffed with that. So the fact that there are other people on earth who have learned quicker and are better, that's got absolutely nothing to do with me. So why would I let that take away from the joy that I've got? There are enough time pressures and deadlines in life. Why take something enjoyable like learning guitar and turn that into another one? I think it's important just to focus on what you're doing and you know getting better over time rather than comparing your progress to anybody else's. Life lesson for you there. You know, the biggest progress that I've made is that previously when I was learning, as soon as I picked up my guitar, Simba would just get up and walk into a different room. Whereas now, look, don't mind this, do you, mate? So that for me is good enough progress. The reason I haven't made as much progress as I could have is that I just haven't practiced enough. So there's a difference between practice and playing. Basically, once I got to a level where I could kind of butcher a few songs, I basically stopped doing proper practice and just kept playing the songs that I could kind of manage at the level I was at. I did say I hadn't made that much progress in a year and my singing obviously has made zero progress. So yeah, if you want to get as good as you can, as quickly as you can, then make sure that you are actually practicing, not just playing songs that you can already play. However, I watched that video that I made when I very first started and it was pretty shocking, wasn't it? Um, <laughs> but there was one thing I said, which I think I got absolutely spot on. Well, pretty much everybody that I've kind of read about online has said that the main thing is to make sure that for the first few months up to the first six months, your biggest challenge really is just not packing in um, because at the start, like it's really quite hard. Nothing sounds like a song, nothing sounds good. Um, really frustrating, like your fingers hurt, everything's against you really. And that's when like 90% of people who start playing the guitar pack up. Yeah, a year later on, I stand by that point 100%. Like I said, playing guitar isn't a race, so the only way you can fail is if you actually give up. So if you're practicing an hour a day doing all these kind of really hard drills and you're absolutely hating it, and that makes you completely stop playing guitar, then that isn't a good idea, is it? I suppose the ideal scenario um, is to do, yeah, a mix of practice and playing. Um, and what's good is to learn songs that are kind of a little bit beyond your current level so that you are um, effectively practicing while you're sort of playing and learning songs because yeah that's a, a good way of improving your skills. So recently I've been learning The A-Team by Ed Sheeran which in the Justin guitar book is a stage nine song and I'm on stage six but yeah I just fancied learning it. She's in the class concert. I'm digging the strings. Oh, I'm trying to play the strings not snap them in half. Time will fade out tonight, straight down the line. They say she's in the class 18, stuck in her daydream. Been this way since 18, but lately her face seems slowly sinking, wasting, crumbling like pastries and dead screen. Worst things in life come free to us Cause we are just under the upper hand Go mad for a couple of grams She don't wanna go outside tonight And in a pipe she flies to the motherland Sells love to another man It's too cold outside The angels to fly
one good thing is there's no chance these videos being copyrighted because YouTube is not going to be able to tell what the songs are meant to be. Obviously I'm not a guitar expert, I've only been playing for a year and as we've established I haven't exactly made fantastic progress in that year but in my experience the very hardest part of learning guitar comes right at the start. So at the very beginning your fingers hurt like mad, everything sounds terrible and you can't imagine ever being able to play a song but really quickly your fingers stop hurting, things start to sound slightly less terrible and you do actually play a song and it's all downhill from there. That downhill from there, that means it gets easier, doesn't it? But people also say oh, everything went downhill as if that's a bad thing. Um, yeah, comment down below, what does everything was downhill from here mean? Um, but what I mean is, yeah, it only gets easier. It's a bit like if you're really unfit and you decide to take up running, the hardest run that you ever do is probably gonna be the very first one. Like, if you get fitter you might decide to kind of push yourself and sort of do different things and that will be hard in its own way but by that point you'll have some level of fitness or you'll have some level of guitar skills on your side. Um, like at the moment I'm learning the F chord which is horrible but it still doesn't feel quite as difficult as learning like really simple A, D and E chords did at the start. So yeah if you can just get through the first week or two then it's all downhill from there, as in it gets easier. Anyway, I think that is all I've got to say about learning the guitar. Um, I should probably go and spend some more time actually learning it, but yeah, comment down below if you can play and you've got any advice for me, or if you can't play but you're thinking of learning, um, let me know. And yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the future. I was going to play a song to play us out, but I couldn't think of any. Mm.